what the luck is up today we're going to be going through my stick and poke tattoo process not to be mistaken with how to give yourself a stick and poke tattoo this definitely isn't the worst process out there but it's also not the best um, i haven't gotten any diseases infections um so yeah just take everything you learn in this video with a grain of salt let's dive right in if i don't have an original idea or there isn't an existing image that i want to modify i like to go to pinterest and get a little bit of inspiration there's a lot of good stuff on there um, a lot of good simple minimalist line work that works great for stick and poke tattoos um, really simple stuff if i plan on doing a tattoo that involves text i'll typically go to the font to uh to check out their library on what they got um and try and find a, a font that drives with me something that i i want to put on my body for the rest of my life once i get the design figured out i like to go through my supplies just make sure i got everything i need today we're going to be using two different types of needles um, we're going to be using a, a five round liner and a five round shader got an extra liner if uh if she hits the fan and uh i gotta act quick next thing is uh i think it's like an intense type piece of wood that i use for a grip um use this medical type tape um to put the needle to the wood and then i got my mom's ink and i got this little tray thing that <laughs> with like these little cups that holds the ink got my stuff for stencils got my stencil I got my green soap that I'll mix with water inside that little pump thingy and then I got my hustle butter and then paper towels and lastly a shot glass that I'll put water in and then to get my workstation set up I'll use some saran wrap and just cover the table makes me feel a little more professional and also makes for an easy cleanup later on just kind of roll everything up and toss it away at this point i'm getting ready to sit down for uh the long haul so i'll grab myself a cold beverage and uh and then cue up some music most likely some some lo-fi hip-hop it's repetitive the act of stick and poke tattoos is repetitive so it works get my paper towels ready wipe off my arm put some of that stuff stencil on there and then yeah, Shazam works. And then get my five round liner ready. Like I had mentioned, connect it to that piece of wood with the tape. At that point, the stencil's dry and we're ready to go. Yeah, I was kind of cringy about this placement. <laughs> Risks kind of freak me out because they're super veiny. So this first pass is really bad. But it's there, stencil's still there. You can see all of it, so it's working. And then, uh, yeah, I do it again. And then I start going, start going really fast, yeah. Chest up. And I should say, I didn't really film it, but you can see the hustle butter on the side right there. Um, after each pass, I'll wipe it off with the green soap water combo and put a little bit of hustle butter on there. It helps with the swelling. It also helps with, uh, the skin to take the ink a little bit better. You know, like the ink's just not like pooling on the surface. At this point, I get ready for the five round shader. My wrist was getting kind of puffy, so I got that Darth Maul set up with the stick going on. And yeah, just start filling in the, the O and the W. Yeah, filming doing this was kind of tricky, so I skipped like three passes, three or four passes, so it might have been, I don't know, six or seven passes altogether. And then it looks like I just worked in a coal mine, so just wiping off all that excess ink that's on my arm from, from wiping before. And uh, yeah, get it all cleaned up and then wrap it off. You can see I got some extra paper towels. I got plenty of ink. And then I got extra hustle butter, but hey, it's better to be more prepared than not. Yeah, that's the name of the game. 
Sweet. Well, that's pretty much. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, you learned something, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me do my thing, my process.